All right, big, big news. Got a message yesterday from Mr. CEO of Framer himself, John Van Dyke, and he tells me the wait for their cutting edge AI feature is finally over. And they just launched it today and I took it for a spin. Now, just before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, I'm Omar Farouk, designer turned founder of multiple tech startups. And in this channel, I share all of my learnings around building delightful products and trying my best to achieve breakthrough growth. So if you're interested in all of this stuff, then go ahead and click subscribe to stay notified. So what's Framer AI? Well, the hype is real and it started a couple of months ago with this mysterious generate site button, albeit not very mysterious at all, considering what's been happening to the tech industry over the last year. You'd have to be living under a rock to not get enough from this teaser. And today early access finally opens up and the hype continues. Now I'll be honest, I don't know how I feel about AI in general. Best way to describe it is a bit of excitement, curiosity peppered with a bit of fear. You can't deny, right? AI is a little bit scary especially for writing and design. I also run a design tool SaaS company myself for e-commerce businesses, and we've also been forced to go down the AI rabbit hole as well to stay competitive. Now call me a party pooper, but I do worry about the impact AI will have on the creative market. Not necessarily now, but in the near future. But at the same time, I'm all about embracing change for sure. I mean, I do have confidence that the human race will find new ways to be creative with AI. Uh, and we've seen this with every industry shift, of course. Now to the real question, how powerful is Framer's AI? Number one, how much time can it save you? Can it replace the design process entirely? Is it a gimmick? And what does the future look like for Framers AI? Before we answer these questions, let's jump in and take a little tour. All right, generate and publish your site with AI in seconds. Example, a portfolio page, a business for writing better code called Chirp, an event called Jazz Night in Amsterdam, a personal book club called Bookworms. So you can pretty much put in any prompt you can think of, um, you know, even if it's just an experiment. But let's just go through this landing page and see what they got here. AI generated and human curated. So the idea is that you go from a raw idea to a real page in seconds. They encouraging you to provide as much detail as possible. And then they give you, of course, you know, different layouts and then you can tweak it how you like. You can see some examples here in this preview that the AI generated. Pretty cool. I mean, there's some decent color combinations. Layouts are overall basic and simple, but at least it's something that's functional, right? So let's take this for a spin. An e-commerce website for a boutique coffee brand called Dragon's Fire Coffee. I want to see fiery colors with a bit of turquoise. Start with the AI. The page is generating Unleash the Dragon's Fire, Taste the Magic. Oh my God, already the headline definitely captivates me. So that is a big win. Let's zoom out and see it, the generation process. You can see all the different sizes and layouts generating as well, which is pretty cool. So out of the box, you're having responsive, fully responsive layout, which is great. Colors okay, not as fiery as I hoped. Uh, I think it more kind of understood my turquoise prompt versus the word fiery perhaps, is maybe a non-word. So we can have, now you can see all the sections start to flesh out, um, you know, features of the coffee. We have a testimonial section. Great. Okay. So this is where we, 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 we're at with this page. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and shuffle some colors and see what happens. So this one is a nice combination. You know what? This palette actually has a fiery set of hues on here. And I think it just didn't you know, kind of shuffle the colors correctly. But if I continue shuffling it, you have some great um, variations of this that includes a lot of fiery colors, some very hot, spicy colors. And that's what I was looking for. So I think it did cater to my request. Um, mixing these colors are super useful. You can just see and test different uh, design options extremely fast. Uh, and in fact, you know, if you want to try a different color palette, there's so many different variations over here. Um, let's now try the font shuffling. They have some really funky ones out of the box here. You know, some of these are quite wild. And then you have the sort of body text fonts that are just a bit more normal. You have some serif and sans serif. Okay, perfect. So I want to kind of deep dive into some of these sections and see how the layouts have been created. So if I go into my layers panel, you can see it created a hero section set to relative scalability and fixed height. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of relative scale. I don't mind using fix whenever I need. I usually set this to fill. So I would set that to fill. So overall, the layouts um, are very simple. Probably something that is useful to get the process kicked off. And I guess having a very simple layer structure, as we have seen, just allows the creator or designer to have more flexibility in terms of uh, customization. Finally, let's look at these cards. So again, you have these frames in a container and you can see these cards are responsive as well. So they're definitely using fill or relative I can see that it's all fill which is for me what I prefer so let's go ahead and publish the site boom 
Now, look, to get that in a prompt, like you just, I just typed the prompt is mind blowing. If someone told me that this would be possible, like let's say three or four years ago, I'd be like, you know, you're crazy, but it's here, you know, and you can see it, it's, it works and it's functional and it's amazing. I think the true magic at the moment in this is the copywriting more so than the design choices, because personally I would see myself customizing the design heavily. Maybe I could use it as a starting point for a basic e-commerce website landing page or early access page. But if I need a complex site, I'd prefer to use, you know, an existing template or start from scratch, honestly. But, you know, of course I can see tons of people using this to knock up quick landing pages with a basic CTA or an early access page, etc. Now, when I look at this though, the best value in this is the copywriting. I'm pretty sure they're using open AI to generate these copy and you can see, I mean, my prompt was quite basic and it came up with this title, for example, unleash the dragon's fire, taste the magic. I don't think I could have thought of anything better. A flaming collection, love that sizzling espresso, Awaken your senses with our intensely bold and smoky espresso roast, blazing mocha. Satisfy your sweet tooth with our perfect blend of chocolate and coffee, scorching latte. Indulge in a creamy velvety latte with a fiery twist. Okay, look, that's why I think, you know, open AI has the reputation it does. It's insane. Like, I mean, you read that and not only did it create my brain main brand, it also created names for my product offering, right? That's, which is nuts, right? So let's go look at the rest section. Source from the highest peaks tamed by dragons themselves. Magical mugs. Drink your fiery concoctions in our one of a kind dragon scale mugs. Brewing gear. Make your morning ritual more thrilling with our enchanted brewing gear. You know what? I can genuinely see myself building a brand like this and making it a huge success. I mean, the way it's pulled from such a basic prompt, you know, with the brand name Dragon's Fire Coffee, and then from that associated all of these kind of themes across the entire web page, it really gives that authentic medieval fairy tale vibe. And that alone is honestly huge value for not just web designers, but marketers, uh, you know, companies and startups that want to run a campaign. There's huge value in this alone. This no doubt can really fast track your process. Now there's no doubt it's truly impressive, but let's go into our final thoughts and conclusions. All right, so the site looks amazing, but there's just a few more AI tools to test out before we conclude. So let's jump in. We've got these sections over here. I notice as you select each section, there's an AI icon on the right hand side. You can go ahead and click that and that will actually generate variations of that section in terms of color. Uh, I don't believe the typography would change, but it's mainly shuffling the colors through each section. This is such an amazing way to test out different design options. I mean, look at these results as I shuffle through them. And finally, the AI also allows you to regenerate different text variations. So let's zoom into this copy over here for Blazing Mocha. I'll select the text block and you can see again, the AI icon has showed up. We'll go ahead and click it. And just like that, it starts rewriting your copy. Now, of course, this is insane. For you to quickly regenerate different variations for your copywriting is huge. And of course, you wanna have all the different options laid out for you. You can simply select the text block, duplicate it a couple of times and regenerate each one and then choose the best out of all three. Boom. So as you can see, I've got three different variations for Blazing Mocha. And from here, I can just pick my favorite one. As you can see, Framer's AI is definitely fun and powerful, but of course it's still early days. The text generation, of course, is spot on, but no doubt there are limitations in terms of design, especially with the type of layouts it generates. But of course, this is normal as AI requires a lot of data to be fed. And if they keep feeding this thing, it is only a matter of time before it generates a wider variety of website layouts and design aesthetics. So based on this test drive, let's return to the question of how powerful is Framer's AI? Well, number one, how much time can you save? From a time perspective, it definitely helps you to nail down the basic messaging across all the copy on the website. In terms of design, it can be decent, especially if you just need something super basic to throw on the wall for people, like an early access page or quick landing page with a simple CTA. Number two, can it replace the design process entirely? At this stage, definitely not. It can assist you if you want some basic elements up and ready for then you to go and tweak yourself to perfection. But I honestly don't think it is better than using templates created by humans at this stage. I mean, take a look at great templates from top creators like Cedric Moore, Paul Lapkin, or Matteo from FramePad, and <clears throat> uh, Omar, Farouk, and Rad, don't forget that one. Uh, these templates at least have interactive components out of the box and is systemized and ready for a scalable and fully customizable website. Is it a gimmick? 
I do think that Framer is pulling the right move by making an early entry to the AI scene. Maybe to some it could be seen as a gimmick because of its limitations for pros, but I truly think this is a strategic move for future opportunities. Number one, they're probably the first AI web design tool. I mean, I have not come across any others. They're definitely stealing the limelight very early. Also, no doubt, they'll just keep maturing their AI model from here. And we all know the pace of development that Team Framer likes to stick to. To answer the question, I don't think it's a gimmick. I do think a lot of beginner users can benefit from it for sure, and eventually it'll just keep getting better and better and better. Now, the important question, what does the future look like for Framer's AI? So after talking with Framer CEO Joran, he could not tell me much, but it seems that Framer is really experimenting with a symbiotic relationship between AI and human. And for me, this is really a positive approach of using AI. I think we can definitely expect web designers and even template makers to fully capitalize on Framer's AI as a tool to get better and faster results and help them generate more revenue. Now, I'm sure everyone can agree that's a great future for all of us. That's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you try out Framer's new AI. I always say if you can't beat it, just join it. I'd love to know how you feel about Framer's AI and AI website generation in general. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to dig these recommendations and make sure you subscribe to stay notified for more content on designing and building tech startups. Bye for now and make sure you keep building.